Hey everyone, Roshin Bilg here. Um, welcome to my podcast. Just uh, just sitting here and uh, going to bring you through maybe uh, one of my photographs. Um, going to try and make this a thing. So uh, I suppose um, the idea really is to explain the photographs and just to you know talk about you know the moment and the, and how you know photography how i enjoy how i want to i suppose capture a moment you know um life is very busy and uh, a lot of the time we're just running past things but that are very that are very nice but we just don't capture them you know and uh, that's what i love about photography um photography just allows me to capture moments that i see beauty in and maybe share that with people you know whether it's them sitting down having a coffee, lying in bed, get a, getting up in the morning, you know, things like that. It's like, it's positivity, you know, it, it's looking at something beautiful. And sometimes even looking at things that harshly, but looking at the truth in an image and seeing that um, shine through a photograph. You know, the internet is full of photographers, full of, images full of um i suppose people just wanting to be heard or seen and you know and you know i'm joining that journey i i just you know but i believe what i'm showing is from my eye and i'm hoping my eye is unique um and that people can start coming in and seeing it you know um i'm so i appreciate people so much on patreon twitter instagram you know, YouTube, all my subscribers, you know, the fact that I'm starting to get a, a following and uh, some loyal supporters, with, you know, real positive comments about my photography. It's, it's a really, it's a really nice thing, you know, um, you know, like the last few years have been tough, you know, I, I, I obviously shared on, online that I had health issues and, you know, I had to quit my job and things like that. And um, photography has helped me through that. You know, being able to go out into a woods and take a picture or go up a mountain or, you know, walk around the city, which I need to do more of um, and take pictures. It's a real, you know, positive, nice experience. And it's even better when you can share it with people, you know. Um, you know, I took a photograph recently um, and I got uh, retweeted by Cork Bio, which means Cork Live Bio. Being, being live in Irish and uh, you know it was nice it got a nice few impressions it was a nice thing but what I really liked about it is that the photograph reminded me of Stranger Things you know a setting in America that is on the north side of Cork City you know the beautiful moonlight the street light you know I got that real kind of 80s vibe out of it and um, it was a really nice photo you know um, and again just chance you know, I was collecting my daughter from from a sporting event and I saw the moon, um, a hunter moon on the night, and it was it was beautiful. But what I really liked about it is the way it was hiding behind the tree, you know, like a hunter would. And, you know, I think it and captured um that full moon on that night beautifully and how the clouds um how the clouds lit up. At night time, you know, it's such an unusual sight to see him so lit up. Um, that I really, you know, I love nighttime photography. I really do. I think it's beautiful, you know, and it's something I must get into more. Um, you know, I haven't found a niche yet with my photography, really. I know I say I do landscape and nature, but to be honest, I just want to take candid photographs, you know, um, stuff that's interesting and maybe, you know, that... A lot of people can like different things, you know, and I'm kind of seem to be like that. Um, you know, and going back to that picture, you know, it was like, you know, you know, it's, it, it, I suppose, an analogy really, it's like a gunfighter with his hand in a gun. You know, moments are fleeting. You have to have your camera with you, you know, and you take that shot when you can, you know, 
and I don't mean stop a car and crash it or whatever, like, but what I really mean is when you get a chance and you see something beautiful, it's worth capturing, you know. And it's there forever in online, you know, for people to enjoy it and see it. Um, you know, it's the full moon as well. It was absolutely beautiful, you know. I said it was a hunter moon. And it, it really, really lit up the sky. It was really, really, really beautiful, you know. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, imagine if, I, if there was a werewolf there, you know. And... Uh, and if I caught the werewolf, would it mean that I was a darewolf? Bad joke. Bad joke. I know it's a bad joke. But you know what? Maybe I should leave the comedy to other people. Um, yeah, and that Stranger Things vibe just really went through the shot, you know. And I'm so glad that people liked it, you know. Um, you know, and I took another one that night as well, you know. And uh, I actually made a Halloween uh, graphic art. Um, so... I'm going to release that then just before Halloween on my Patreon, you know, for people. They can download it, they can use it as a poster, you know, even for um, for their family, families, if they celebrate Halloween, you know, which is Irish, you know. Um, it, it was, Halloween is, is an amazing time in Ireland, really, you know. I know that, like, in America it really took off, but, like, you know, in Ireland it has real deep meaning, you know, and the pagan religion of the, the Celts, you know, where, you know, all the bad, all the bad kind of ghouls and whatever will come out that night. And then the next day is All Souls Day. You know, it's a day where, um, you know, we remember all the people who have passed and the people, you know, that we, you know, in it kind of got taken over by the Catholic religion over here and I know, know like they have all souls day and they go up there and they, they bless the graves and things like that you know it's it's a you know I suppose like most things with different things like in religions things get carried on through different belief systems you know um, you know and Halloween had a major effect on that in this country and then into the 1st of November you know um, I want to thank all my Patreons as well, by the way, especially, you know, because with their support, um, it's really given me a lift, you know, to, to keep going with, with photography and maybe try to start a bit of storytelling. Um, it's been very difficult for me to kind of get into this because I can be quite introverted, but for me, it's important to talk about positivity and beauty. The world is kind of a messed up place, you know, at the moment. It has been for a while. So, you know, instead of listening to the news and, 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 and stuff like that, it, it, I think it's better if we can have a chat with each other and just talk, you know. And I would be hoping that maybe, you know, people can come on to Patreon, we can have a, a conversation, you know. Um, talk about the good things in the world. Be positive, you know. Be free from all the negativity that's out there, you know. Um, there's so much anger and there's so much hate and there's so much division. I, I actually really believe that. You know, if we just step outside our doors and see what's out there, a blue sky or a cloud or, you know, fresh air, you know, these are the important things. All the other things, they're manufactured. And, um, you know, when you take a photograph that's candid, you know, and I don't mean one that's set up in a studio, but one that's outside and, and you're going out and you're taking a photograph, that's candid, it's real, you know. There's, there's, there's no lying in that, you know, and it's for me then you know people who want to see the truth can see it in an image and of course we can discuss it um, and that is my main thing really you know I want to start discussing photography I want to start discussing you know kind of positive mindsets in that you know um, you know it's a lovely time of year now it's autumn or as you like to call it in America the fall um, I don't know where you're falling to, but uh, autumn is a beautiful time. Um, brilliant for photography, you know. You get the multicoloured trees and leaves on the floor. You can get, you know, the, the mushrooms, which I have shared, I think, again on Patreon. Uh, beautiful red mushrooms and the details on them. And you, you're getting all these gorgeous images that are... that are... They're just in captivating, really, you know. 
you know and again these are things that we could just walk past on any given day you know when the pressures of the world are on us we should step aside and be able to look at these things because they, they this is what's real you know this is the stuff that that keeps our spirit topped up you know and uh, our soul is a very important thing to take care of you know um as I said, I've mentioned uh, Halloween's coming up, and you know what? Halloween is is, is probably has been my favorite time of the year growing up. You know, um, through the years, and then having the kids, and they're they're out there doing their thing, and it's just the excitement in dressing up, and trick or treating, and to be fair, most of the time it's treating. They don't get really tricked that much. Uh, I remember one time. When we when I was young, we went trick or treating to my friend's house. His sister came over and she threw flour into her face, and the other lad that was with me started roaring and crying because he didn't understand it was trick or treat, you know. And um, yeah, I still have a resentment against her <laughs> till today, but it was funny, you know, looking back and she caught us for a beaut. But um, yeah, you know, like Halloween is it's just so it's so fun, you know, it's so fun, and um. You know, the different imagery around the place. There's a lovely um, village in West Cork called Kale Kill. And you drive through there and there's a bridge and they have all pumpkins on the on the wall of the bridge. Um, and it looks amazing. You know, it just looks so beautiful and the effort the locals go to to, to do that up, you know. Um, originally in Ireland there was turnips. The jack-o'-lantern was turnip. And a lot scarier than a pumpkin. Um, you know, but I suppose like once I got to America, turnips weren't really grown as much and pumpkins were. So, look, I think the pumpkin is is nice. <laughs> the turnip is a bit scarier. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's 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 just, it's good. It's good. I think it's good to do this anyway, you know, and I love your feedback. Um, you know, again, I, like, to all the people that have bought pictures on Pickfair, who support me in Patreon? It it really is. I mean, it's one euro, but it uh, to just get the photos, you know. And you know, there are other levels in there that if people are interested, they they support me on, and I'm so grateful. Um, it's just so nice to be able to share stuff with people and have a conversation and just know that people out there like your stuff. You know, it's a real boost. And it's not an ego boost. You know, it's a confidence boost. You know. Um, and that's what I'm really, really, really um, happy with, you know. Um, you know, and, you know, I have lots of ideas in my head. You know, I have lots of ideas to study the craft, you know, to maybe go out and get a degree in it or do something like that. Or just go out and, you know, just try to learn by myself. And I have all these different things that I'd like to do, you know, but, you know, it's... At the moment, I'm just really, really happy that I can take a few shots, I can work on them, and I can show you what I see. Because quite often when I take a photograph, I know the picture I'm taking is not what I'm seeing, and I'm able to transfer that, you know, using software and things like that, to just show you how I actually see it, how the beauty is there, because the camera doesn't always pick up the beauty. It takes a shot, you know. So, like... And just how that kind of, that slight manipulation, the slight kind of creativity that, 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 that all photographers use. I used to think it was cheating, but obviously I was wrong. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's what photographers do. And I see it now as, you know, just adding an extra layer of creativity into, into my photographs. Um, you know, Anybody new listening to this, if there is, you know, join the conversation in Patreon on my YouTube channel. And, um, you know, I'm on Twitter, you know, um, I do use Instagram and stuff, but it's mostly Twitter, Patreon and YouTube. And I'm hoping to start getting more and more kind of podcasts uh, out there and just get a feeling of what people are looking for, what they enjoy, um, what I want, where I see things going. And if we can even collaborate together as a group, as a community, because I believe in community, it's so important, you know. Um, and I see a lot of you guys have your own kind of community going and it's it's really nice to see. 
you know, it's so important that people kind of come together in a positive way, you know, and enjoy life, you know. And it's hard enough, you know. Life can be very hard. So when you have something that's very positive, something freeing and something that you can add to the world instead of take away, and that's the most important thing. So I think that's it, you know. I, I think that's that's my first podcast. Um not too sure what it's been like but maybe you can let a few comments in and let me know and talk to you soon